round of applause. Thank you, Jorge. And thank you very much to LACNOG. I was thinking while I listened to Benoit how interesting it is that similar problems uh, occur. So Benoit made my presentation easier because I will be touching upon IETF too. So we're going to do the preprint analysis in the region. I said once that we never speak enough about BGP. So this is a motivation for this presentation. Basically, we can see that this is still a draft at the IETF working group. This is the GROW group, GROW routing operations. At this moment, there is a draft there. It's not an RFC yet. That refers to pre-pending. We, I'm sure you all understand what this is about. We have done pre-pending, and you will be doing pre-pending in the future. And that draft mentions things that are quite surprising. So when you include prepens, this you consume network, you consume memory, you consume CPU. So part of the point is that you don't always have to do prepend. This document led to writing a post, which is the one you have at the bottom. And basically there we discuss about the AS path prepending. To set the context, in the case you're not familiar with prepend, if you look at this diagram, if you wish to go from router A on the left, you want to reach router C under normal conditions, you will follow the top path, router A to B to C. However, when using prepends, we're going to follow the path at the bottom. So imagine you're including prepends in router C. So traffic from A to C will follow the path in the bottom. Why? This is traffic engineering. There can be many reasons that explain this. So what is the purpose of all this? Basically, what we wanted, what did read in LACNIC was to review in detail the BGP routing tables, both in IPv4 and in IPv6. And the idea was to share the results in the framework of prepens. This is the data source. The delegated extended from LACNIC BGP tables that the ones that you always use. Thank you for Potaru for finding these always and making this available. And the scope, and let me stop for a while here. When analyzing this project and conducting the analysis, when we start to work, we had many ways of doing this. So we said, let us do the BGP prepared analysis in the region. What is the reason? Region. LACNIC, autonomous systems are lacking. Well, we have the both. So for the framework of this study, we took all the prefixes in the world provided in the AS path. At least one AS appeared that corresponds to LACNIC. What were the tools? Python 3, Jupyter, BGP tables, and show IP BGP. And this is an example of the outputs we analyzed, which you're probably familiar with. And this shows three next hops, and you all ha have the AS path. So what we were looking for is that the AS path had repetitions, which indicates the prepend. Now let's have a look at the results, which I'm sure this is what you're looking forward to. The only result that doesn't have anything to do with prepends are the number of prefixes we analyzed. In the IPv6, 214,000 prefixes. This is as at August this year. And in IPv4, almost 1 million prefixes, 978,000 prefixes. Please remember that each prefix might have many different paths. The first one. And uh, so uh, here we see how many are the total prefixes uh, to your right IPv6 and to your left IPv4, and how many have uh, prepens. Uh, in, in the IPv4 world, uh, there are 167,000. Uh, we, we have 167,000 prefixes in the region, 35 of uh, thousand of which have prepend and in the IPv6 world 64,000 prefixes and 
16,000 of them have prepaid. So once again, let's remember that this corresponds to uh, 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 no, at least one of them is of Latin America. So let us uh, discuss the the, uh, out, the the results that we got uh, with the prepaid. Here you see the AS single home. That is when they only have one uh, provider. And we get in IPv6 196 uh, cases in the IPv4 world, uh, 753 cases where those single homes are doing prepens, something that really does not make much sense because with traffic engineering we won't do anything. And once again, let's remember this. So, and in addition, it consumes uh, resources, CPU, memory, etc. And this is one of the cases that I mentioned as the best practices in the draft, not to do prepens when we are single homed. Another interesting case, when there are more than five prepens in uh, the AS path for IPv6, 4,177, and for IPv4, 3,903, what happens with this? Um, and this was mentioned in the draft. This is a, a bad practice, and let me explain why. If we take the uh, internet ecosystem and we see the depth of the destinations. Over 80% of the destinations are going in the AS path are going to be within five uh, autonomous systems, uh, five hops. So if I do more than five prepends, when I start putting the fifth, uh, sixth, uh, the impact will either be very small or there will be no impact. And it is there where you have to be friendly with the BGP speakers. You shouldn't be contaminating the entire routing and memory using prepens that in the end won't uh, will be useless. So this morning we had a similar talk at uh, the booth of LACNIC where we talked about it. And it's not that 80% of the destinations are in the five ASs around you, but m most traffic, obviously, will be much closer, about 95% of the traffic. So, and we know it's not worth it, and it is in the document. If some people out of curiosity wonder, and where do you do the prepend? I think that there are not so many surprises in the AS of origin. We do most, of course. Here we analyze uh, the uh, path and the open stream provider. You also do it and the, uh, and the upper one, too. It might be interesting to see this because some of you may be concerned that y you do the advertisement and for good or for bad, uh, they will modify it by adding prepens, which will have an, an impact on your traffic. And here we wanted to compare if there were prepens in the autonomous systems of 62 or 32 bits. And in the 32 bit world, there are more prepens than in, I, than in IPv4. But in the world of 16 bits, is there are more prepens in the IPv6. Uh, it's, it's a curiosity. So here we maybe we should uh, analyze this further. And here the uh, top five countries that uh, do BGP prepending in our region. This is the one that makes the least uh, prepends in the IPv6 world: Suriname, Guyana, and Costa Rica to your left, and in the IPv4 world: Curaçao, Cuba, and Salvador. If you wonder. Well, if you see, uh, wonder what that ratio is, well, that means that, for instance, let, let's take the case of Suriname. Every 60 times when we get a spot where Suriname appeared, every 60 we had a prepend. There, so there are a few prepends in uh, Suriname and uh, Guyana and Costa Rica. Now, for the IPv4 world, and the, these are the ones that do the prepends, for many of you, uh, 175, let's take, for instance, Cuba, two. It means that every two AS path that where Cuba appears, there's a prepend. In Salvador, the same thing. 
but there you have six. Every six uh, AS path, there is a prepend. That those are the ones that have more prepends in the IPv6 world. It would be Mexico, Cuba, and Bolivia, and in the IPv4 world, Belize, Aruba, and Paraguay. So to conclude. Um, I don't uh, like it's too uh, rather wordy, wordy, but there are many organizations that are singled homed and that do prepens. You know that it's a bad practice. And we also saw that there were many operators uh, using it that had more than five prepens. Please do not, that will not be. It won't have an impact in the outbound or inbound uh, traffic in the autonomous system. We found some extreme cases in the IPv6 world. We've, we saw 27 cons uh, prepens in uh, a row, and uh, in uh, the IPv4, 61 in a row. Uh, remember that in uh, the BGP decision algorithm, they will send the traffic and the AS path, well, depending on the vendor, it's in the fifth uh, place. And uh, those are attributes that you can play with before thinking that you're going to put a prepend. There are other ways to do it that may have more impact, and it's a rather healthier way to do our traffic engineering. Well, this is all I had. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions. Well, there is time for one question for Alejandro. Ricardo Patara. Very quickly, uh, congratulations for your presentation. That's very interesting, very important. It, this is not a, que well, a question, but related to that, something that we already checked. There's a router vendor that has a graphic interface and the configuration to include the prepend sometimes it's very confusing and there's a field where you and you state how many times you want the prepend and the person gets confused and puts it there as if it were the number of the autonomous system that has to do the prepend and and they say well MIT the Department of Defense is hijacking these routes because the number appeared the number that was expected the number of uh, PPs um, that uh, as of AS uh, with prepend one two three four, so uh, that's a funny thing, but it's also a matter of concern. I love that anecdote. Thank you for mentioning it. Something important when you put the AS in the draft, there's something very important. I've seen this with operators always. Well, you, what you must do is use the AS. Do you want? of yourself when your AS. If I put a, an entry filter that has PPs, I, don't, I won't use the AS of a, another operator. I'm always going to use my own AS. Very good presentation, Alejandro Norberto Farias. Um, I have a, a funny anecdote, and of course I'm going to ask you, because we've seen from the point of view of IXP a phenomenon with uh, the single home uh, ISPs that very often they do prepens because some uh, IXPs ask them to get more distance. Let's say the small I ISPs that have a slash 24 or little resources, uh, as they can't be less specific for the transit and they're publishing the same size of prefix for the IXP. Very often the content comes of the uh, transit AS and the C, the CDNs of the same uh, uh, reach for the transit and the IXP. So despite the fact that they are single home, they put uh, one or two prepends to get more uh, distant and get a cheaper uh, thing for through IXP. Do you think that uh, there could be a recommendation? Well, I know that we are rather short of time, but the two things that I'd like to mention. First of all, remind you the local preference, the prefixes that you turn on in the IXP put uh, valuable uh, um, and, and second, you said that they were requested to add a prepense. Do not ask the operator to put a prepense. It's sad to say this, but don't request your ISP 
to handle the prepens. Do it yourself, because tomorrow, if you need to, you'll have to call them to remove the prepend or to add more. N not, it's not that the ISP requests. The IXP ask the ISP that may send a prepend of their own to the carrier, because in the end, they're injecting the two prepends, the two routes, both sides, and the content. They will see it just as close from those two points. I think that, the, well, the response will always be um, through local preference. But I think that you can achieve it like that. Thank you. Gracias, Alejandro.